Hey, are you new to the club? Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell beside it. See ya. What's up everyone and welcome to Spiller Kenzie Gaming Edition and this is Ken. In this video, we'll be playing Call of Duty Mobile with mouse and keyboard. <laughs> You know that this is somehow a sensitive issue for some mobile players, but please stay on the video. <laughs> we will be talking about installations and settings, gameplay, and my take if this is cheating or if this is legal. So it is easy to play on PC, just download Game Loop. It is an emulator interface that lets you play mobile games on PC. This application or software somehow managed to optimize the gaming experience or mobile game experience with mouse and keyboard and even the graphics. If you have a decent PC with a dedicated graphics card, then you will love this application. Okay, to answer the question if this is cheating or not, the answer is a big no. <laughs> Playing on emulator is not cheating and this is allowed by the game developers themselves and you'll be playing with other keyboard and mouse players as well so the level of the playing field is pretty even okay let's talk about the downside so there are a number of issues playing on emulator and don't worry i will be listing out some pluses as well when using game loop or mobile emulator first I noticed that it is a bit difficult to get ranked matches on multiplayer mode and most of the time I got this timeout error of 480015. So upon reading some forum in the official Call of Duty mobile page, it is some of an issue right now especially for PS4 and Xbox controller that uses Bluetooth and also for keyboard and mouse. So this is a current issue that I think the game developers need to solve. I noticed that there are some dips or frame drops when I was playing Call of Duty Mobile and I'm recording this actually using OBS. I can say that I have a decent gaming laptop and I still experience some frame drops. The thing with game loop is that um, you are running your game on an emulated mobile platform. And this is the same with Bluestocks and other software. Okay, like what I said, we will talking about numbers of pluses when playing Call of Duty Mobile in an emulated platform. One of them is the use of keyboard and mouse. I know that there are still people who are not used to mobile game controls like using fingers and gyroscope. And with the help of Game Loop, they can still play mobile games, especially if they already have PC. Game Loop also provides a mature keyboard and mouse button mapping that has many options that you can use. For me, I just used the provided button mappings for Call of Duty Mobile and I didn't change anything on the settings. Lastly is the competition. Since you're playing with other keyboard and mouse players as well, the difficulty of playing Call of Duty Mobile also increased. And regarding my experience installing and playing COD Mobile on PC, I can say it is a mixed experience. I'm not able to play ranked matches on multiplayer but I manage on Battle Royale. I also experienced some frame drops and comparing to other games on Game Loop, I didn't experience it anything like that. For example, Garena Free Fire and PUBG Mobile. I hope that people will stop bashing other COD mobile players who are using Xbox and PS4 controllers and keyboard and mouse. These gadgets are allowed by the game, so please be respectful to everyone. I hope you have a good time and enjoy the rest of my gameplay using keyboard and mouse. Please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button.